Hey everybody, Gundam Flexing here. Today we're going to do the review on the high grade iron blooded orphans Gundam Barbatos. The kit has already been completed, so there will be no time lapse video or open unboxing video. And with that, let us start off with the intro. So this is the high grade iron blooded orphans Gundam Barbatos. Uh, it is piloted by this young man named Mikazuki, also known as Mika. He's one of the founding members of Tekadon or Iron Blooded Orphans. This specific Gundam is the ASW G08 uh, Gundam Barbatos, so this is the original variation. It's also important to note in this video that this stand uh, did not come with a kit, it was actually purchased separately but it's a good combination for the Gundam. So before we go on to this guy, let's just go over the other weapons or other pieces. The only thing when you're done that's going to be left over is this piece for the stand and another piece for the stand right here. And that's it. In regards to the PC pieces, this is how many are left over. So here we go. I did, uh, I've never used any of these pieces per the instructions. I don't know why they're there, but hey, they're extra pieces. Kudos on you. The other weapon, aside from his saber, is his iconic mace that we see him pretty much bash the crap out of all his enemies. It's a pretty decent size too. The other pieces that uh, you finish building are an additional arm piece, of course forearm for the <clears throat> mounting weapons, and an additional piece that pretty much goes behind his um, main limbs, like his arms or legs. The stand specifically here comes with two additional pieces right here, but I choose not to use them. Now I'm going to take Barbatos off the stand. Boom. There it is. Off the stand. You get a good piece of the stand here. It's basically um, the plastic uh, or, or is the lining of the art. So if you were to remove the picture, it would just be mostly plain colors without the um, lining. So here's Barbatos. And here's his sword. You want to try to put him in a neutral position, standing position, right here, move him here, move that over here, have him stare at the camera, boom. His iconic V fin, his head is quite maneuverable, could go pretty much shoulder to shoulder, up and down, like most high grade kits, got the stickers for the eyes. And there are any other stickers anywhere else on his face. This is the back of the head. Now for his shoulders, he has boulder shoulders, which are pretty limited in how high he could um, reach. So, no, no, excuse me, it's good. It's like a 180. His arms, oh, and there are stickers um, that sort of fits the box art. So, the, uh, the pink, pinkish red here, there are stickers. And this is a comes edition, and it's like his miniature shield. His arms are quite maneuverable, but goes up to here, so he can't really flex or bring his hand to his shoulder. Here's another part of that shield. Ooh, it's a little bit loose. Same thing with the other side. And again, because it's a high grade, the fingers are in place, so you have to take out the backhand, put in the sword, connect the pieces, you got it. Now, the back part here is this piece here. It's essentially the same as the additional piece you saw, um, except I just included the shield because it looks badass. And he also has um, a, not a jetpack, but it's more of a backpack. Uh, he has two lynches right here, which you could attach to sword. Didn't want to do it. Looks a little tacky, but yeah, there it is. 
So far there is ample opportunities to um, do panel lining in your shoulders. You can see the crests here the, um, on the bottom of the shoulders and his chest. There's also a sticker in the center. You can see the vents and there are separate pieces. And what I've noticed in the Iron-Blooded Orphans, at least the uh, protagonists, their Gundams all have very thin waists. Basically, it's almost supported by um, one branch and then two pipes. Here we see the back. Very nice. Very nice. These back pieces here aren't that maneuverable, but if you could put it in a good position, they're sitting on balls, so they're not actually connected or clips. His skirt is very short, so he can maneuver his legs out pretty far. There you go, he's pretty much almost through the splits. Ooh, don't want to force it though. But his legs could go out quite far. The skirts don't interfere whatsoever. Um, his forward, a little bit limited, but let's see if we can move the skirt out. Of the, oh, no, the skirts prevent his front foot from kicking pretty high. Not high, but limited. You can see two additional sticker designs here, which on his kneecaps, which match somewhat on his shoulders. His knees are able to go up to this far. So it's like he could almost kick his back of the head if he wanted to. What I've also noticed, um, or I'll probably have to use glue, are the uh, the thighs. I guess you could call them thighs, but it's pretty much just two pieces connected together. So every time you move them, they uh, start to break up a little. So you can see the crest, but you, you know, a little hobby cement be able to fill that in. Same with the other side. Again, he has somewhat design vents, not vents, but like arrows lower than his kneecaps. The back of the feet, back of the legs, has extending pipes, sort of like in his abdomen, and the back of the arms, which are like uh, right here, right here, back of the arms with the pipes. Boom. His feet, which aren't traditionally like other other gun club feet. This is more of a animalistic nature because he has like toes and it sort of resembles claws. Not so much opportunities to do panel lining. Um, here's are some more stickers on the side of his knees. This is gray, or dark blue. Same with the other side, gray, dark blue. His skirts also comes with stickers here and here, so the side skirts. And that's about all the stickers. Um, I think it's pretty good for posing. Let's see if we can put him in a neutral position. Aha, here we go. Boom, huh. Um, pretty good for battle positions or battle poses. Um, especially just with the mace and with the sword, but it sort of sucks that you don't come uh, It doesn't come with any rifles or whatnot now This I'm move this bro out of the way This is the pamphlet So as you saw he was originally in this position in the beginning of the video This is another battle pose you could do with the mace and a shield um, It's like getting ready here it is, the weapons, the sword, the mace, and his little defensive shield. So you go down to the bottom, as you see on the back here, his sword, his mace can be held. It's pretty much this piece and this piece right here. And this is another position and the color guide. In regards to how many panels this kit has, it's not not a great amount. This is a very simple high grade. There you see it here. And it's strange enough because even the, 
the instructions here with the X's show you that you're not actually using those parts, but um, so I guess they're just really just extras for your kit uh, kit bag. Instructions. I'm trying to get a good picture of that. Here it is. One page, two page, three page for his legs. And you go to the back for the almost completion. See his waist, his complete assembly. Backpack, I'm gonna call it a backpack. His mace, his sword, his weapons assembly, his stickers. Boom. And here it is. Here you see the pilot, Mika. There it is. One thing I want to see, I can't remember. Okay, no, the, the shoulder, the shoulder joint is pretty maneuverable. Uh oh. Okay, so. Unlike um, unlike most kits that I've completed, the arms aren't in a ball, so the joint isn't in a ball. Instead, what you have is something like this. It's a half, then your arm is the other half. So you would just put it in there, and that that is the joint. So it's a two-piece joint piece. It's a pretty interesting. And you just pop it in there and lower his. Uh, shoulder, the shoulder um, shield, I guess. Boom, like that. Great kit overall. Um, it's just been completed for such a long time. I want to do a review on it. But I hope you found this review helpful. And thank you all for watching. And keep your eyes out for the next video. Thanks a lot. Peace out.